once more to Food for Thoughts and Ready, Set, Cook. This is Chef Robbie here with you. Today we're going to be using some passion fruit, concentrate, and there's no sugar in that yet. I just got the juice of the passion fruit out, and that's really strong and pungent. And we're going to be throwing in a bit of pawpaw or papaya, however you like to refer to it. And we're going to create a nice passion fruit and pawpaw punch or papaya. If your kids don't like papaya, like you know, Chef always says, Whatever your kids don't like, you need to find ways of masking it so that they can utilize it and get the nutritional value or the nutritional content of it, okay? So we have pawpaws. The pawpaws are always in season. And you know, as there's anything else, some people like them, some people don't. I love papaya, so does my whole family. So we're gonna blend so, so we can break down that pawpaw. All right, now we've broken this down, we're gonna put a little sugar syrup because we had no sugar in the passion fruit yet. It's really tart. If you're diabetic or you want to keep away from sugar, and sugar does help to put on, you know, all that fat and all that weight that some of us, you know, develop in our latter ages. Okay, so if you like a lot of juice like me, cut back on the juice. Drink water or cut your juice, the sugar content in your juice, you know, by half if possible. Use honey. Use, you know, if you could bear juice without sugar, hey, more power to you. I can't. I love sugar. I love salt. Now, we're going to add just a little piece of guava just to play around with the minds of whoever is drinking this punch. So, they, you know, you can tell them it's a pop and passion fruit punch with a little hint of guava in there. And you know how robust and pungent guava can be. So, it's going to make, make just that little difference. And we're going to add some ice. Let's blend our guava. Let's get it blended quick. Okay, Caribbean people, I think our Caribbean punch is done right now. I'm going to give it a go. Let's do a little sample taste in here. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. You need to give this a shot. The passion fruit is robust and pungent in there. And that little bit of guava is just coming out there in the back of your palate. Beautiful. And the papaya has been masked completely. There's no way of knowing there's pawpaw in there, papaya, however you call it, and the kids could enjoy it. This is an excellent, excellent drink. Now for you guys who have all those, go to, you know, go to those milkshake places and they make all those fruities and slushies for you, you need to tell them they need to try this, okay? Or if you have the idea of opening up a smoothie bar or a shake bar, these are some of the interesting different variations you can do with fresh fruit and fresh juices. Mm. I can drink this forever. Really, really good stuff, Caribbean people. I wouldn't lead you wrong, okay? The passion fruit, I think, is what does the trick, and that little hint of guava. See you in the kitchen, or we're going to prepare something hopefully just as interesting for you guys. <laughs>